What's up everyone? Today I'm going to talk about the uh, market predictions or the crash that Chicken Genius, which I uh, respectfully follow and agree with him most of the time. I have been following him since the COVID crash and his prediction has been point on most of the time. But this time his uh, prediction regarding the stock market I would like to differ with some of the points that I am going to share with you. Before I do that, I'm going to run the video that he has released uh, regarding the market. Let's watch it. Guide. This is a start of a capitulation. So how does a start of a capitulation looks like? Companies start laying off workers and speculative levered companies going bust. Today we have Luna. You know, exploded, Celsius exploded. And as of today, we hear news of 3AC going poof. We also have like mega cap companies like Coinbase, Tesla, C-Limited laying off workers. There's also small tier one early stage funds that are laying off 70% of workers. Any financial bros or advisors or fund managers asking you to buy the dip should be fired in such environments cash will be the best performing asset relative to everything dropping so stop buying that fucking deep as i said this months ago and i stand by it in a bear market there will be temporarily rallies that look like a hot girl all right so this is what we have and he released this video or youtube uh about the market just a few hours back i think it was in the morning that i watched all right so uh my i have some points that i'm going to share with you guys and uh, what i think is different now before so first of all i want to uh, give you information regarding wall street and you know the big institution whatever they say about the market you know so if you look back at the history it had happened opposite from what they say so we cannot really trust uh, the institution or the wall street because they uh, i'm assuming they they make the predictions for their own benefits so i'm going to share some of the clips and details where uh why i am saying such so let me all right so we're gonna go uh back in november 30th of 2011 the Webush and Webush, the Webush, I think that's one of the institution or one of the Wall Street papers. They dubbed Netflix as broken back in November 30th of 2011. Now, if you read, uh, read it, it says, Outspoken Webush security analyst Michael Patcher has downgraded Netflix to underperform, calling the film rental service broken and saying there may be no bottom to the company 2012 losses then now that's what they said now i'm going to show you what happened exactly after so this is netflix so when they said that that was back in november 30th of 2011 and if you look at the chart from November 2000 if you would have listened to them you would have missed this out right about 42,000 percent gain can you imagine if you would have listened to them now I'm going to share you another one at that time who held the most percentage of shares and you're going to be shocked about it if you look here the Netflix 82.85 percent was held by institution now what do you make that of it can we trust into institution from what they say now percentage of share held by institution those institutions are the big institutions like blackrock vanguard you know the details are up there so that's that's what happens and let me share another one similar that will be let's see all right so back back in july 30th of 2010 the new york times 
they predicted about the beer market and they said should we set a place for the beer at the 4th of July barbecue so what they were predict predicting is that by July by July they were predicting a beer market and that's 30th of July and I'm going to show you what happened after that exactly that's on this was the warning uh, this was the time when New York Times warned about the uh, bear market and what happened was it ran all all the way up you know so this is this is why you know we do not rely on the information of institution okay uh, I'm sorry let me show you the chart okay all right this is what happens so this is the time New York Times warned about the beer market if people would have listened they would have missed all the gains okay all right now let me share another one and that will be all right okay so this is this is about the institution I want to make it quick and you know I want to make it quick uh, basically the institution when they uh, tell you about the stocks or the crypto or a market in general you have to do your own research research we cannot depend on it okay now why I differ from chicken at this point I do not differ exactly but I'm going to just give you some information about what had happened back uh, in looking back at the history and then you we all can do make our own judgment all right so I'm going to talk about the interest rate hikes and share a few of the charts now what what all of us has been discussing is when the interest rate are you know when there is a hike in interest rate we predict a bear market you know we predict the market is going to crash but if you I'm going to share the history back what happened if you look at this chart there was 17 rate hikes back in 2000 September from September of 2005 to 2007 17 rate hikes and guess what happened S&P actually climbed and it was it was the chart it was appreciating you know about uh, from 1100 it went all the way up to 1450 I'm going to show you another one that is there was eight rate hikes back in 2016 till uh, yeah till about 2019 that's eight rate hikes what exactly happened the market S&P 500 actually climbed from 2000 to 3200 so this is what the history tell us and if you think the hike in rates is going to actually crash the market we may be in a wrong perception about it so all right so that's the interest rate I'm going to share about the inflation inflation data now what we have been discussing about inflation is uh, people have been saying that you know the inflation is going to crash the market and what we do not know is what exactly has crashed or what exactly has caused the inflation now the inflation has been caused because of the rise in demands especially during the COVID you know everyone was at everyone was home and then everyone needed things the tangible goods so they started uh, the demand rises now in order to meet the demand the United States or that the country has to have enough factories so I'm going to share the data what exactly happened in US in the United States the money spent all right the money spent on factories from 2002 till 2021 has been decreasing steadily all right so that means we actually have had less factories for last 10 to 20 years since we had you know probably the things were exported or 
no, there, there could be many reasons, but basically the factories were actually decreasing. And the factories that were there probably had the old equipment. So looking at the chart, the money spent on factories has been decreasing steadily, and all of a sudden, uh, due to COVID, demands, demand uh, rises. And because of that, you know, the since there was n there were not enough factories, the inflation has uh, has been caused till now. So now this this does not mean that this, this cannot be worked on. I'm sure you know the the government or the uh, the situation is going to get better. So basically, this is this is what we are standing right now. Now, I'm not a financial advisor. This is uh, um, this is not a financial advice. I'm just sharing the data from some of the research that I have done myself, and all I can say is, you know, the the information, the, the a lot of information, misinformation are given by Wall Street and uh, Wall Street and things. But we need to do our own research and invest accordingly. So at the moment, the market is crashing, but I see an opportunity there. You know, the best you can do is dollar cross average. Do not buy um, things at bulk. Do do some research about the stocks, crypto. And my channel is uh, mostly dedicated to the 100x coins that I try to find and, and crypto in general. So I see a lot of opportunities. I may be wrong, but, you, you know, we all can do our own research. But yes, there could be an opportunity for us. The best we can do is again dollar cross dollar cross average invest little by little, and hopefully, you know we all can make it. Hope this information is helpful to you. Uh, if you like the information, I will have uh, information coming up soon in future. I mean videos, follow up videos as well. One more thing about uh, that I want to mention about chicken. He mentioned about the Celsius you know the celsius we had just a celsius celsius med meltdown i will make a video about celsius as as well because celsius are were actually a bad actor in crypto space you know i've done little research about it and the celsius was a bad actor which has been we uh, weed weed out they have been removed so now the things uh, i'm assuming things is going to get better you know with time it may take some time or it may not but it's going to get better so they were bad actors they were not actually decentralized as we as we speak but again it's a long topic but i will have a follow-up video made on this and uh, do subscribe if you have any questions leave a comment if you're new to crypto and if you're trying to find a 100x coin do subscribe to my to my channel where i make inform make videos and information about it hope to see you again thank you